Hi guys, Tim from Topper here. We're going to change the CPU valve out on this WOW R050 system that's been in use for a while. And uh, I'm here to show you how to do this. Okay, we, so I brought a bucket along with me. We also have underneath the uh, kitchen counter, just for show and tell, the new leak detection base that gets attached to the system. Um, we'll show another video on how to do all of this along with uh, this new leak detection base, but I just thought I'd show it to you. We'll do another video on that. Uh, we'll move the peroxide and the Lysol out of the way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to depressurize both sides of the uh, control module here or the system to replace the control module. One side is high pressure, the other side is low pressure. So let's start by opening up the faucet, depressurizing one side of the system when you hear that exhaust. We're going to shut off the feed water valve to the F port of the system, go back to the faucet, Break the pressure, the system is totally depressurized at this point. So, this is when the bucket comes into play. Push in the collet on the feed, pull it out. Place that piece inside, remove the feed, I'm sorry, the faucet line and the drain line, place them in the bucket. You got a little bit of residual coming off the system. Put your hand on the back side, lifting it up by the tank. It's full of water. Do a little mopping up down here. Pick up that residual of water. Getting up off your knees. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna remove the cartridges. Place my little towel right here. With an upward motion, push up on the pre-filter. Twist it clockwise, give it a little wiggle, place it back in the sink. Same thing with the membrane, giving it a final twist, releasing it. Same thing with the post filter, releasing it. A little bit of water showering down. Hold on to the tank, rotate the manifold clockwise, one quarter turn, lift up. Manifold is released. Okay, so a little setup here. There's two half inch O-rings in the center of the manifold. Usually they stick into the manifold. You're gonna place them over the stud on top of the tank. You'll notice that the squeeze ring is gone. There's an O-ring in here. And you gotta check to make sure that there's no imperfections in there. With every replacement control valve, a a squeeze ring accompanies that just in case re when you reapply, this ring can get pinched. So this is intact, so you're fine. Keep that for another day. Place it back into the manifold in the proper position for resetting the O-rings when we get everything reassembled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this control valve by with a medium tipped Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure that it's not a sharp tip, because today, this screwdriver is going to pull double duty. More than likely, the four O-rings that seal this control valve, one or two or maybe all four, will be stuck in the manifold. We're going to use this dull end tipped Phillips head screwdriver to kind of pry them out. So three O-rings are there, one is stuck. All right, so we're going to use this. Now, you can use a plastic uh, a Q-tip uh, or a plastic... Uh, toothpick, something non-sharp, and uh, place that back in the old CPU control valve. The new CPU control valve, again, comes with a new squeeze ring that we reapplied here, but they should come with all four O-rings, okay? Uh, the green uh, flow control pin is there. Uh, all four of these receptacles are clear. Make sure you don't score the end of them with a sharp tip. The, uh, the scallop here in the manifold receives the larger diameter. Place that right over there. The four O-rings are attached. Push straight down. That sets the O-rings. Let's take all four of our stainless steel Phillips head screws. Go in reverse first to find the first thread. There it is. 
screw it in. That way you're not cross-threading and stripping the manifold. That could be a very expensive uh, move if you don't do this. There it is, first thread. I'm only going finger tight here, no torque. No torque. Thumb and forefinger for tightness. All it is, you're just bringing it down to a snug fit. Okay, here we go. Same thing here, go in reverse first. There it is. Okay. And voila. Okay, O-rings are set, all four. Okay, the correct positioning of the tank to get started out is that there is a little tiny ridge on the, uh, put that at midnight. Uh, one ear is at three o'clock, the other ear is at nine o'clock. The cartridges are at three, CPU valve at nine o'clock. Make sure that O-ring doesn't drop out. Wiggle it back and forth, left over right. Push straight down, that sets the O-ring, holding onto the manifold. Twist the tank. There you have it. O-rings are set. You're going to match up the blue dots for the post filter, the green dots for the membrane, and the red dots for the pre-filter. And everything is set. Housekeeping there. Okay. Black drain line into the D port. Blue faucet into the FA2 in this case here. And the red feed line into the F port, which is the regulator. Turn the valve back on. Make sure no water's dripping down here. You know you've properly set the O-rings. Go back up to the faucet, draw water from the faucet, off, listen for the depressurization. That's the movement of the control valve. Turn it back on. You might see a little dip in pressure. That's a little air left in the system from the change. No water dripping anywhere. Guess what? You have just replaced the CPU valve of a WOW RO50.